Today we will be talking about how to support our argument during writing. This is Mrs. Lawrence from Schmucker Middle School. Today our goal will be to support our claim with logical reasoning, relevant evidence, by using accurate and credible sources. First, before we can get started, we need to cover a couple vocabulary terms. The first term we need to review is the word claim. A claim is the stance, position, or side that you take on a specific topic. Textual evidence is information from a passage that supports the answer to a question or idea. Detectives need evidence to solve a crime, just like writers need evidence to prove their ideas, or in this case, their arguments. Finding the right information for writing matters. Just because we see something on the internet does not mean it's actually true. There is no such thing as a shark horse like in this picture you see here. But it's important that we look for relevant information. When we're looking to support or prove our claim in an argument, we need to find reliable and relevant information. Reliable information means it's true and from a trustworthy place, not just on social media or not just what you saw on Instagram the other day. Anyone can Photoshop pictures or falsify information to make it sound believable. Relevant information means that the evidence or information you're gathering is actually connected to your specific topic. And finally, when trying to support our claim in an argument, we need to avoid information that's not directly connected to it. Remember, just because you saw it on the internet or read it online doesn't mean it's always true. First, let's take a look at a piece of information or a piece of evidence and determine when might you use this evidence. So, the quote is, many families go to Florida to visit Walt Disney World, which is one of America's most popular tourist destinations. Now, would this be best if I'm doing a topic about rising amusement park costs, Florida weather patterns, Travel and tourism in Florida, Florida agriculture. Agriculture often refers to farming. So when I take a look at this, I know that I can probably eliminate D pretty quickly, Florida agriculture, because this statement about families going to Florida doesn't have anything to do with farming. I could also eliminate Florida weather patterns because this sentence has nothing to do with weather. And finally, although Walt Disney World is a popular t destination and there are amusement parks there, this statement doesn't talk anything about the cost. Therefore, I would only use this statement if I were writing about travel and tourism in Florida. Now, this student is writing about getting enough sleep. They claim that people who don't sleep well have trouble when they wake up. Which blue sentence supports the idea that they have trouble when they wake up? Now, because I know that I'm only looking to answer this question with one of the sentences in blue ink. Those are the only statements I'm going to look at. So my first statement in blue says most people need seven to eight hours of sleep. Although it tells me how many hours of sleep someone needs, it doesn't tell me or support the idea that people who don't sleep will have trouble when they wake up. So that must not be the best sentence to support my idea. I also see that when I look at the final sentence, if all else fails, it's important to see a doctor if you can't get some sleep. 
that tells me what would happen if I'm not sleeping, but it, I, it doesn't explain to me that I have trouble waking up. So it can't be the final sentence. I'm then left with two more. However, 15 minutes is not enough time for many people to unwind and fall asleep. That's talking about the process of falling asleep, but it's not talking about having trouble waking up from sleep. Therefore, the best possible answer is not doing so is not pleasant. Not getting enough sleep at night can make it particularly difficult for individuals to be at their best during the day. That sentence best supports the idea that people who don't sleep well have trouble when they wake up. To summarize, it is important that we find relevant and reliable information to support our claim. When we are arguing, we need to use relevant information. Reliable information means it is true and from a trustworthy place. Relevant information means the evidence is actually connected to our topic. And finally, we should only use text evidence that actually supports our argument or our specific reasons. Have a great day.